You know guys, here on the channel, the Scad Master makes a lot of predictions, right? And most of the time, you could say I'm just talking to talk, I'm hating for views, this and that. And to the gooch lickers out there that think this, look, I'm gonna put myself in your shoes for a second, okay? I'm gonna relate to you guys right now. If I were watching fully the Scad Master just obliterate Call of Duty every single video, as a gooch licker, I would think fully, please shut up. Stop talking. You're gonna be wrong. If you are a gooch licker, this is the one time I will ever relate to you. Trust me when I say I want to be wrong more than you want me to be wrong, okay? I don't want to be right about half the shit I say about Call of Duty, but guess what? I talk and days later, weeks later, months later, the shit comes true. The shit that I was talking about, the shit happens. And today is no goddamn different. In my last video, we talked about the campaign and how much of a shit show that was. And guess what? Some gooch slickers, to them, it's not enough, okay? If I haven't talked mad shit about the multiplayer yet, I need to talk about campaign. And if I've already done that, then guess what? Zombies is gonna be the saving grace for MW 2019 Part 3, right? If you're somebody with high hopes, First of all, you shouldn't have high hopes, and second of all, I'm gonna get your head out of the clouds with today's video. Guys, people seem to think MW 2019 Part 3 is worth it because of campaign and zombies attached to multiplayer. Multiplayer, we've gone through it already. It's fucking recycled mumbo jumbo bullshit. Literally zero original content at launch. You cannot argue with me and tell me that that is subjectively wrong. You literally cannot. Like I said, we just talked about the campaign and how rushed it felt, how short it was, how many bugs came with it, and overall how many people, gooch lickers included, did not like it. What's left? Zombies. And guys, I have bad news for you guys, as goddamn always, when it comes to zombies. This comes from the leaker, Bob's Network, or whatever the fuck he used to go by. He says, Vanguard Zombies 2 Electric Boogaloo. Hashtag MW2019 Part 3 Zombies. Well, that doesn't sound too good, does it? Well, he follows it up with this. Performance issues, major crashes and bugs, boring, and reportedly unfinished. Now look, when these kinds of like opinions come out from a leaker, I will tell you guys, I believe it for the simple fact that these leakers are usually right to begin with, but when it's an opinion piece and it's negative, you guys gotta understand, leakers just by default, most of the time are gooch lickers. This goes back to my campaign video. If a gooch licker is saying something is bad or mid, then to somebody with common sense and an IQ higher than a cup of fucking noodles, that shit will probably be ass. Guys, if a gooch licker is saying zombies looks boring, zombies is unfinished, there's performance issues and bugs. You know what that sounds like? That sounds like the fucking campaign, does it not? And what did we just discuss about the campaign? This shit didn't actually feel like a goddamn campaign, now did it? Apparently, the same thing goes for zombies, and while you could discredit this leaker, there's actually a little bit more. Somebody replies saying, unfortunately you can't really leak how the audience are gonna receive it. And Bob responds with, if the employee called it boring, what do you think the players are gonna think? Do we need to paint the picture any further? To some people, to the gooch lickers especially, of course we do, but to the rest of you guys with common sense, I would say the video's done here. I mean, case fucking closed. But, you know that's not how it works in the Call of Duty community nowadays, guys. Where there's a gooch licker, there's gooch licking, am I right? So just to further push on this point, somebody else responded saying, Also, with the bugs and performance issue, isn't that expected for a recent COD title? Cold War was pretty much broken at launch along with BO4, so maybe this will be patched very soon and the game will be fine. Wishful thinking, but Bob says, The unfinished and boring is coming from someone who worked on the game. Just to further push this in, this is not an opinion from somebody who's just hating to hate. No, this is coming from somebody who literally worked on the goddamn game. What the fuck are you gonna say? The guy who worked on the game is wrong? Like, literally, what else do you need? But I want you guys to really pay attention to that previous statement from that tweet. Aren't all CODs supposed to launch like this or some bullshit like that, right? This is the type of nonsense that has plagued the Call of Duty community where nobody has standards for shit. 
How do you justify dog shit by saying, hey, it's gonna start out as dog shit, but over time, it might be a little bit less dog shit? See, this is where Scat Master Fooly becomes Coach Master Fooly. Listen, if you have this line of thinking at all, you need to up your standards. You need to raise your standards, raise the fucking bar. We are not talking about indie developers. We are talking about a AAA title developed by AAA developers in a AAA franchise. You cannot have this bullshit going on. We are four days away from the launch of the goddamn game, and if it's being described as unfinished, with performance issues and bugs, and you're still trying to justify a $70 price tag on this shit, you're smoking Shaquille O'Neal dicks. And look, I'm not the biggest Zombies fan whatsoever. All I do know is I was not a big fan of it in Cold War. The whole like outbreak thing, I know the big diehard Zombies fans, they actually did enjoy it. For the Scat Master, it wasn't my cup of tea. I like round based shit from back in the day, and it looks like Zombies hasn't really been hitting recently, right? Some people back in Cold War, like myself, did not enjoy Outbreak. That is okay. In Vanguard, we know what happened back then. And now in MW 2019 Part 3, Zombies is taking an L for arguably the third time in a row. So to Zombies fans, look, I am not talking shit about you guys or your game mode. All I am saying is, based on what leakers are saying, coming from the employees who worked on this shit themselves, it might not be a good experience. Now, how does that relate to multiplayer, guys? I said this in my last video. If Zombies is rushed, what makes you think multiplayer is not rushed. All of these puzzle pieces are connecting into one massive picture that says this game was not meant to be an actual fully fledged premium title. It was supposed to be something else and it looks like last minute it became something totally different to try to warrant a $70 price tag. Because imagine this, if we kept it as a $70 DLC which is what it actually is but let's pretend they actually advertise this as DLC and let's pretend it is still $70. Coming off of MW 2019 part 2, I can guarantee you not many people would be interested whatsoever. ever. You know why? Because MW 2019 part 2 is fucking ass! So what do you do? Let's add zombies. Let's make a better campaign. Let's add new cool shit to the multiplayer. Well guess fucking what? You can't cover your tracks like that like it's nothing, like it never existed that way. The paper trail is still there. Your campaign was a lackluster dog shit experience, even by your own gooch liquor standards. And that's fucking sad. And now your zombies appears to be unfinished. For the second year in a row, thank you Sledgehammer. And Treyarch, it's not your fucking faults, but it just goes to show you that Sledgehammer couldn't even work on zombies themselves because they were busy trying to fucking produce the campaign and multiplayer, both of which are probably poor. So Treyarch gets a pass even though, you know, they arguably shouldn't get a pass. This is the second time this is happening. I don't know about you guys, but if I worked at Treyarch, I would simply say, Fuck no, and maybe that's why David Vonderhaar got the fuck up out of here. But anyways, when it comes to the multiplayer, how does this possibly relate with campaign and zombies? Guys, once again, how much original content does it have at launch? Realistically, we just got reports of the can we just got reports of all the perks and the score streaks and the guns and all that kind of shit. I can go over that if you want. In this video, I'm sure as fuck not, but I can tell you guys right now, majority of that is all recycled shit. Now, that's not necessarily a bad thing if this game is a DLC, and if you want to be one of those people that says, oh, every single Call of Duty game is a DLC, guess what? Why are we making DLC for dog shit? Why are we copy and pasting dog shit? Copy and paste a good fucking game. This is literally copy and pasting off of MW 2019 Part 2. Copy and paste off of the original MW3. Or Black Ops fucking 1 or 2. Copy and paste off of something good. This is what I mean by raise your standards too, guys. If you let this shit slide and you tell Activision it's cool to release unfinished garbage and still charge $70 for it and defend it when it's clearly not in the right state to be launched, guess what? Next year, that's the same standard we're going with. Next year after that, same exact shit. Now some of these gooch lurkers have been trying their absolute fucking hardest to justify a $70 price tag on this shit. Let's look at the entire picture, guys. The whole goddamn thing. We have multiplayer, campaign, and zombies. You tell me in either of these three modes where something actually seems fully complete and ready to go. And if they're claiming this is years in the making, which they have, you tell me where the fuck that adds up. Because to me, it doesn't. 
And I know it sounds like I'm beating a dead horse talking about multiplayer and no original content, but if you saw my full beta review, you would know that my biggest, biggest critique above spawns and above SBMM even was the fact that with no original content for the first month or so of this goddamn game, people will lose interest before you get the chance to introduce new original content in the future. And that is a separate problem with seasonal content, and you guys know if you've been here a while, I do not like seasonal content. I don't think it belongs in Call of Duty, I don't think it works, and this is another example of that happening in real time. Now you might not see it right now, you might not see the vision, but let me tell you right now, I have been spot fucking on with every single prediction I've had for this game since the game got announced months ago since the first leaks came out for it months ago. And now we're gonna see the exact same shit pan out in real time, and I want you guys to tell me if I was wrong or if I was fucking early. And once again, to the gooch lickers that really, really want me to shut the fuck up and want me to be wrong, trust me when I tell you, you do not want me to be wrong more than I do myself. But that's gonna do it for me today, guys. I'm curious to know what you guys think about this. With more and more bad news coming out about MW 2019 Part 3 before launch, you tell me, does this shit seem like it's worth $70? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, hit the bell notifications to stay up to date with my newest videos. And uh, yeah, guys, it's been the boy Fooly. Have yourselves a good one. I'm out of here. Toodles.